At 5.06 p.m. on June 28, 1982, I was born at St. Boniface Hospital. When I was a year old, I was morbidly obese. I was given the nickname Butterball by my parents. Interesting tidbit, this is not a prison, but in fact, my former pre, elementary, and junior high school, Ecole Provence. Uh, when I was four years old, I went to the preschool in the basement right over there. It is also the location of my earliest memory of saying the word fuck after leaning back on my chair too far and falling backwards. I was kicked out after 70 days for having a really bad temper. I used to go to this cathedral with my mom every Sunday up until the age of nine. I don't know why she kept on bringing me here because I was a source of constant embarrassment for her. When I was four years old, um, I was really bored because it was a three hour mass every Sunday. And I just begged her for a pencil and paper. She, she said yes. And then about a minute later, this man leaned over and said, don't worry, madam, I once had children myself. And then she looked at what I wrote and I had showed to this man and there were two references to two very popular comedies at the time in the mid-80s, and it just said, nerd and meatball. Here I am in Lorette, Manitoba, in front of my uncle's house. At my cousin's fourth birthday in 1985, I was this three-year-old with incredibly long, beautiful, wavy brown hair. I, like many long-haired children, uh, was androgynous. This woman approached me and said, wow, you're such a beautiful little girl. What's your name? And this being 1986, I immediately said, Madonna. About an hour later, it was time for cake. And this woman came up to me and said, hey, Madonna, it's time for cake. And then my sister, who is nine years older than me, chimed in and said, his name's not Madonna, it's Damien. About one week later, my hair was chopped, and then I looked like some boring garden variety boy. A few years ago, I was spending some time by myself in this basement, just hanging out, minding my own business. Admittedly, it was a bit of a mess. I just had some papers and some, some movies laying around. It wasn't a big deal. It wasn't any filth. It's just clutter. No filth. About a few minutes later, uh, as I was settling in, my nephew came downstairs. Uh, he's about seven years old at the time. He came downstairs with a friend to get a soccer ball. And so he went to the storage room uh, in the other room downstairs. But his friend just like kind of stood there and looked at me in this really strange way and then looked around and then looked at me again and said, Wow, it's like you exploded in here. It's almost like he was a little high. It was strange. And then my nephew came back from the storage space with a soccer ball in his hands and was making his way up the stairs. His friend just stood there for a little longer and then just looked at me and asked, are you going to be here forever? I just looked at him. He just looked at me. And then he just went upstairs. I don't care if I'm a 33-year-old man living in my parents' basement, okay? I'm doing all right. I'm dealing with things. I've got shit to do. And I have this little bastard come downstairs and ask me how I'm doing? Fuck him. Fuck the little asshole. I don't know what his name was, but seriously, I'm sure it's asshole or something like that. I don't like him. I don't like that kid. Anyone who criticizes me about living here is a fucking freak, okay? Because they don't understand what I deal with, okay? I'm a good guy. I'm a good person, okay? So you know what? If you're watching this show and you have a problem with me living with my parents and I'm like, I don't know. I'm just like, you know, oh, clearly he doesn't have any problems. Look at him. No, I've dealt with shit, man, okay? I've been diagnosed with adult, adult, um, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. I've dealt with borderline personality disorder. I've been seeing a shrink for six years. So you come downstairs in my basement and tell me how I live is wrong? Fuck you. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and visit hyperdistracted.com.